really important to all of us, which is the history of racial inequality, especially in this 2020 election when you have Donald Trump. And what she did was she she weaved in her personal story. And that is something that is purely masterful. And she executed that. And it had so much impact for so many people. I've been watching um, these kind of focus, not focus groups, but these, um, uh, the, the debate watches, especially in South Carolina, where people have come out and said, look, that didn't happen to me, but I can feel what she is saying. And I, I know people who went through that. And after she did that, the campaign, what did they do? They tweeted out a picture. Sabrina! Sabrina, come! Come here, Sabrina! Come here, Sabrina! of a Kamala Harris in second grade basically during that time of being being bust and it was it was just really I've been in debate that picture up on the screen yeah I've been in debate preps especially in the last uh, in the last cycle I've worked on a couple of presidential cycles and it is it is hard to have done what you managed to do and you know you come out of a, a post debate and you look at you think okay you wonder are you worse off or Thank you very much. The Democratic presidential debate was the most watched Democratic debate ever. To get a closer look at the candidates, I got to interview most of them afterwards. Here are some of the highlights. I've got Senator Kamala Harris here for uh, an amazing night in history, I thought, tonight. If those men, those segregationists, had had their way, I would not be a member of the United States Senate, and I certainly would not be a serious candidate for president of the United States. An image like that. Do you happen to have Greg's phone number, question mark? Of that father and and his young daughter. Anybody can relate to that. It's the reason nobody attacked Biden tonight is they all want to be his right. Dom, comma, do yourself a favor and submit your daily report now so you can enjoy your evening and don't have it hanging over you and get in the habit of sending before 5 p.m. daily if you can, period. Thank you. I would not accept it uh, if a male offered me because we should have a female vice president. And it's always dangerous for men to be talking about reproductive rights. When he comes out and says, I'm the only one on the stage that's led on reproductive rights, I literally looked at the two other women on the stage, at Elizabeth and Tulsa, we were like, oh, and that's when I said, uh, there's three women on this stage. And our big chance in 2020 is not to try to roll back. Can you confirm when the air call will be plugged into this and anything else that we have been waiting for. Not to come up with some small ideas about we'll make a change here and a change over there. It's to make big systemic change. The spin room is heaven. That's hardball for the big week we just had. Thanks for joining us. All in with Chris Hayes starts right now. Tonight on All In. America does not want... Come here. Democrats vying to take on Trump make history. I'm still holding on to that torch. Tonight, record viewership for the first Democratic debate of 2020. We should call out hypocrisy when we see it. What we learned about where the candidates stand. But you should do your homework when you make this issue. Sure. And what happens next with DNC Chair Tom Perez. Then... She was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. The fallout from that Kamala Harris moment with Joe Biden. I never, 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 ever opposed voluntary busing. The big takeaways from both nights. What's been missing is courage. And why never Trump former Republicans need to expect Democrats to act like Democrats. Raise your hand if, gover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. But All In starts right now.
Hi. Hi. What's going on? Chloe. Record. That follows a first night debate that also generated tremendous interest, attracting more than 